क्वांटिफिकेशन ऑफ प्रोटीन्स बाय लाउरिस मेथड द लाउरिस मेथड इज यूज फॉर डिटर्माइनिंग द टोटल लेवल ऑफ प्रोटीन इन द सोल्यूशन द टोटल प्रोटीन कॉन्सेंट्रेशन इज एक्सिबिटेड बाय द कलर चेंज ऑफ द सैंपल सोल्यूशन विच इज मेसर्ड कलोरीमेट्रिकली दिस मेथड इज सेंसिटिव एनफ टू गिव अ मॉडरेटली कॉन्स्टेंट वैल्यू एंड एंस लार्जली फॉलोड द प्रिंसिपल बिहाइंड दिस मेथड इज दैट इट इन्वॉल्व टू कलर फॉर्मिंग रियाक्शन in which copper in the presence of base reacts with a peptide bond of protein under alkaline condition resulting in the reduction of cupric ions to cuprous ions then in other reaction the blue color is developed by the reduction of phosphomolybdic and phosphotungstic compounds in the folin zeolative reagent by the aromatic amino acids like tyrosine tryptophan etc present in the protein thus the color intensity which is measured at 660 nanometer depends on the amount of these aromatic amino acids present in the protein and it will vary for different proteins the reagents required are bsa protein sample reagent a b c d and 1x phosphate buffer and distilled water reagent a contains 2% sodium carbonate in 0.1n sodium hydroxide reagent b contains 0.5% copper sulfate in 1% potassium sodium tartrate reagent c is an alkaline copper solution made by mixing reagent a and b reagent d is an folin zeolative reagent extraction of protein from the sample rice grains are taken and ground well to make it into a powder weigh 5 g of rice grain powder and grind well with a pestle and mortar using 5 ml of phosphate buffer transfer it to the centrifuge tube centrifuge it and use supernatant for protein estimation Weigh 50 mg of BSA and dissolve it in distilled water. After dissolving, make up the volume to 50 ml using distilled water. 1 ml of this solution contains 1 mg of protein. dilute 10 ml of bsa stock solution to 20 ml using distilled water 1 ml of this solution contains 500 microgram of protein use this as a working standard pipette out 2 ml 4 ml 6 ml 8 ml and 10 ml of working standard into a series of test tubes pipette out 0.1 ml of sample into other test tubes make up the volume to 10 ml in all test tubes using distilled water A tube with 10 ml of water serves as a blank. Add 5 ml of reagent C to all test tubes. After adding reagent C, allow the tubes to stand for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes add 0.5 ml of reagent D to each tubes and mix well Add 
After adding reagent D, incubate the tubes in dark for 30 minutes. Meanwhile, turn on the spectrophotometer and set the light wavelength of 660 nanometer. After 30 minutes of incubation, the blue color will be formed. Blue color developed in each tubes can be measured at 660 nanometer. Note down the absorbance OD value for each tube. Draw a standard curve using absorbance versus concentration in the graph. Find out the concentration of the total protein in the sample comparing its OD value with those of standard curve drawn using graph. From this graph we can derive that 4700 microgram of protein is present in the 0.1 ml of rice sample. We can further derive that 0.235 gram of protein is present in the 5 gram of sample we used. Therefore, about 4.7 gram of protein is present in the 100 grams of rice grains. Advantage of Lowry's method is that is more sensitive to low concentration of protein. Can measure even 0.0052. 0.10 mg per ml of protein. The disadvantage is that is accurate only within a narrow pH range and time consuming.